We've heard the argument time and time again. Why have scheduled regional service in Red Deer when we can just drive to Calgary or Edmonton? That argument takes me back to the joke about the wife who asked her husband if he was being faithful. His answer is, why go out for milk when I have a cow at home? Simply put, it's much more convenient for most Central Albertans to fly out of Red Deer Regional Airport. People prefer to go local uh, for various reasons, including that we don't charge for parking here at Red Deer Airport. So you can go away for two weeks um, um, and not have to have this significant a cost um, for your trip. Speaking of cost, the giant wholesaler Costco had a similar proximity argument, but it didn't fly. As I understand it, there was uh, Costco had uh, had for a long time said, why would we put a Costco in Red Deer uh, when we have uh, one in Calgary and we have one in Edmonton and, and individuals can, can drive down there. And that's a similar parallel story to Red Deer Airport because uh, we continue to hear people say, well, we could just drive down the highway to Edmonton and Calgary. Uh, but the reality is once the store arrived here in Red Deer, it is now um, you know, one of their highest grossing stores per square foot because Red Deer citizens like to stay local. And that reasoning doesn't hold weight at similar airports like Medicine Hat or Nanaimo. We do about 18,000 takeoffs and landings a year. Um, Air Canada carries about 31,400 passengers annually between here and Calgary. Nanaimo is on Vancouver Island. They are less than 82 kilometers away from Victoria International Airport and are in a similar situation, yet scheduled flights out of Nanaimo are necessary. It's convenience for the traveling public. You know, um, it isn't all that convenient to drive to the Victoria Airport and those people who uh, are able to take winter holidays will appreciate the, dis the uh, distance they have to drive and the difficulty in getting over the Malahat in inclement weather. We don't compete with Calgary actually. Um, we, we have our airline feed into Calgary. Uh, Calgary is a hub airport that uh, our, our passengers can make connections literally all over the world to. Um, really is no competition. You're, you're comparing a, a major international airport to a, a piece of regional infrastructure that serves the local needs here in Medicine Hat. The important thing to note is that Medicine Hat boasts a population of 62,000 people, according to their last census, yet have sustained scheduled passenger service for many years now. Their big difference is their relationship with the city of Medicine Hat. We are here as a council to make sure that the, all the assets we have produces and is as, as effective as possible. So the airports is the same thing. We have to make sure it's operational uh, almost in every condition possible. Can, people may want to land, there's a storm coming up or whatever it is. We have to make sure that uh, it is effective for the citizens, for business, in a support manner. So for all of these reasons, and I think we have to, to be there, understand what type of business is, is available and uh, try to help them out. The city of Red Deer and Red Deer County do help Red Deer Regional Airport, and that's the relationship we'll explore in the next part of our feature series, Up in the Air.